Yeah, he's like, uh, everyone God calling for damn it! I was just about to start! You have to raise your hand and be like, No. Alright. Quiet on the We're, set! Yeah, quiet on the set. What's up, guys? It's Dirty here. I'm coming at you with a little class setup. Um, it's going to be break down in my Modern Warfare 2 little... My classes. So, first up, this is the class I use quite a bit. I wouldn't say the most, but it's my most basic ballista class, and I think that if you're going to copy any of these classes, this is going to be the one, because this one is really great. So I have the Ballista, I have Extended Mags, I would not use um, Fast Mags. Just don't use Fast Mags, mm -hmm. Extended Mags is better. I mean, what if you were going on like over 7 kills and you just couldn't do it because you had to reload, so use Extended Mags. Next, I switch between Ballistic CPU and FMJ quite a bit, I never really know which one I like more. But if it's like a more hard scopey map, I use Ballistic CPU. If it's a closer map, I use FMJ. And I don't use a pistol. Um, I would suggest not to use a pistol. You don't want to switch to it if you don't have one. And just don't use a pistol. Think better things will happen if you don't use a pistol. So, on to the perks. Um, so I do run toughness and fast hands. I very much suggest using that. Don't just run fast hands so that you can have a pistol and attack insert and whatever. Definitely use toughness. It is a big help. You guys don't understand how much it can help you and save you when you're being shot out and you're like on a clip or something. It really makes that big difference. So go ahead and use toughness. Use toughness over fast hands. And I also use flak dragon tack mask just so you're not being stunned ta or semtex fragged. You know all that kind of stuff. You can run through bouncing Bettys. I use a Semtex just to get out of those kind of si sticky situations when somebody's camping on a corner or something. And then tack inserts. And my next class is the DSR. It's the same exact loadout. I use extended mags instead of fast mags because you can reload cancel with extended mags faster than fast mags. So I would suggest using that instead of just using fast mags. And third is the XPR. These three classes right here are all kind of the same basic builds with perks and everything. Um, next one is my knifing class. I suggest making one of these. It's really a lot of fun. And it can be frustrating sometimes, but if you hit a clip with this, it is really reassuring. And it's just, you're just like, yes, I did that. And I mean, I got my first Tomahawk quad feed the other day, and I was so happy. And I got another split one yesterday. But it, it's a lot of fun. Next, I got my XPR Ballista Swap class. I don't have a first perk on this one so that I can run two perks and still have overkill along with the Semtex and one um, and how I still have the Iron Sight. I mean, the first perk isn't too bad if you're getting C forward or Semtex a lot in the lobby. Just don't use it. But it's always crucial to have Tac Mask on because stuns can really just ruin you. And I also insta swap with that between those two and my next one I just made this class I kind of wanted to see how it went it just it's pretty much a basic class using flak jacket or using ghosts um, I was in a really bad lobby and so I put on fast hands for my attack and search to go quick I normally have toughness on that one it really doesn't change much of a time with your attack mouse like lays down a, maybe takes an extra second and next this is my insta swap class this one I don't have toughness on and sometimes it really sucks but you know it's it's I'm risking it so this is my instant swap class just between the, the DSR and Ballista I haven't tried using out anything besides the text to instant swap with so if you think something else is easier let me know let me know your instant swap class like tweet at me with a picture or something and this class is one that I switched through quite a bit I don't have fast mags on, but I always change this right here. I have the three, um, whatever, attachments on, but I'll usually swap between iron sight, dual band, and variable zoom. Maybe some ACOG sometimes, um, but that's just my ballista attachments class when I want to use something a little bit different. And this class I made yesterday because I've been going for an execution or quad headshot feed. I haven't attempted it yet, but I just had made the class. These two classes I usually just swap to whatever I have a new idea of. And then my last class, I use this class probably the most. Um, it doesn't have flak jacket, which is a pain sometimes, but it has hardwired and it has 
tack mask, extreme conditioning. It's pretty much just the class I use when I don't want to worry about tack inserting, when I believe that I'm going to be killing a lot more than dying, and um, just usually my kill streak games, I use this class. Uh, it's really not bad running back when you don't have tack insertions on. You don't if you try it out. I promise you that you will not be getting as mad because nothing's worse than being camped off your tack, um, just getting wrecked off your tack spot or whatever. It's much better just running out of the spawn, unless you're in a spawn trap, of course. Um, but promise me, I mean, I promise you that this class and this class up here will be two of the best ones that you will make if you do, and I suggest it. And if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of these classes, if you used any of them. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. If you don't, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Subscribe if you're not. And don't forget to stay positive. Stay positive all the time. Thanks, guys. Dirty, I'm out.